At the end of the maturation period, the brain has acquired all its fundamental experiences. The information stored in the cortex is used for all kinds of decisions and strategies. The main difference in the mature brain lies in the emotions. Our emotions are stored in the depths of the brain, like all other long-term information. Anger, happiness, fear. They are all encoded in different places. All the emotions are with us right from birth. And these are all blessings and tests bestowed on us by Allah. Fear, for example, keeps one from danger. Happiness allows us to appreciate and protect the good things we possess. The information reaching us through our sensory organs are turned into electric signals after a long series of processes and interpreted in the relevant parts of our brain. It is as a result of this interpretation that we see people, smell flowers or hear the rustle of the leaves in the breeze. In other words, there are actually no tastes or sounds or images. All we can find in our brains is electric signals. From the moment we are born we encounter a brightly colored world all around us. But the fact is that there is not a single color in the whole universe. Colors form in our brains. All that exists on the outside is electromagnetic waves of different lengths. In other words, the colors we perceive exist within us. We can never know the true nature of matter. Is it as we see it? Is the green of a leaf the same on the outside? So what is the conscious entity that watches the images shown to it in the darkness and silence inside the brain and is able to think, draws conclusions and makes decisions? It is obvious that it is not the brain, made up of water, lipid and protein, and unconscious atoms, that perceives all this and is responsible for consciousness. There must be a very different entity beyond the brain. That entity experiences everything so realistically that nobody hearing a sound realizes he is not experiencing the original. That entity is the soul, created by Allah with this sublime knowledge. Brain is just a tool by which the characteristics of the soul emerge. Materialists who deny that fact seek to depict the soul as just a function of the brain. The fact is, however, that research into the brain over the last 100 years has refuted that materialist claim. Human consciousness cannot be reduced to the brain and cannot be explained in terms of brain functions. That is why materialists are helpless when they have to account for consciousness. After years of study, one of these researchers, Wilder Penfield, reached the conclusion that the existence of spirit is an undeniable fact. After years of striving to explain the mind on the basis of brain action alone, I have come to the conclusion that it is simpler and far easier to be logical if one adopts the hypothesis that our being does consist of two fundamental elements, brain and mind, or soul. I am forced to choose the proposition that our being is to be explained on the basis of two fundamental elements, brain and mind, or body and soul. 
This fact, arrived at by scientists, is nothing other than another way of expressing a reality revealed by Allah in the Qur'an 1,400 years ago. Allah revealed that He creates human beings together with the body and then breathes a soul into them. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. He who has created all things in the best possible way. He commenced the creation of man from clay, then produced his seed from an extract of base fluid, then formed him and breathed his spirit into him, and gave you hearing, sight, and hearts.